Well, good morning. We're here uh, on the parking lot, live. It's about 10 minutes to 8 on Saturday morning. We, um, we, um, you know, we've been having all the controversy with the city, city harassment, and then they don't want us to um, use our park, our camper on the, on our parking lot that would be very advantageous to our um, ministry, praise God. But um, they've said that they, they've made a judgment against us that we need to park it behind the church disconnected, uh, which we, we have. I, I did that yesterday. Um, we're going to try to reason with them and hopefully we'll find someone that is a reasonable person there and and uh, decide that uh, in in the long run that um, you see that that the statue that they're stating um, it's actually geared for um, homes and they have a little extra thing on there I I, I, I uh, sent them I, I asked them um, today for the um, all of the cases that they've brought Again, I ask them for the last five years, give me give me how many cases they've dealt with and who they do this with. And I'm sure that if they do present any, I don't think they enforce it hardly at all anyway. Um, but it'll probably be residential basically because there's not many of our good situations like this where that camper can be a real blessing to the ministry. But first and foremost, um, the city regularly um, lets people put electricity to buildings, uh, sheds mostly, things of that nature, sheds and garage, where they need to keep something from the heat not deteriorating it or spoiling it or whatever. And it's it's regularly done by the city. And I asked for that and they said, no, that, that we can't connect it. And uh, for what reason that would be, I, I can't understand because that definitely is a prejudicial uh, decision because they do it with others and it's reasonable that our new camper will deteriorate quickly the heat destroys and uh, Joe Forte sent me a thing that the campers on uh, um, in the sales yard you know they got 50 campers in the sales yard I guess that's what he was looking at and he says they don't have electricity hooked up to them, so you don't really need it. Well, I, I think they probably would like to. Uh, when I looked at this camper that we bought, uh, it had electricity hooked up to it. And um, there were a number of them. Uh, the place I bought it from, uh, there was quite a few of them that had electricity hooked up. I don't know if they're all of them, but I know that the one I bought was brand new that the, that the mission bought was brand new and that electricity hooked up to it and we sat in there and, and that's the one we have it's the one and when we bought it, it had electric so uh, what pictures he was taking and what that means about nothing um, really doesn't make sense to me anyway because certainly it's better uh, heat destroys and when you get and it says uh, within an hour in a camper that the heat, the heat level rises tremendously, and when it's 95 out, it's up 120 in the camper, and that's destructive. And and uh, so we basically just like to do that uh, when we do have it here. It's going to be here. Um, put it there yesterday. It'll be here today, and we're going to go out to the campsite and camp. And I don't know how long we'll be out there, and um, but we're going to have to have it here sometime. I'd like to have it on the parking lot doing. It'll be it enhance our ministry. That's another thing. Now they could give us that too. You know the way the the way the city municipalities and government in general they they kill you with coding, code violations. That's their biggest weapon. Code violations and uh, they leave them quite open, where you have to come for special use. Like take for instance in Daytona Beach. I don't think there's any district in Daytona Beach where a church is is accepted use, if I'm not mistaken, because we went through that with Daytona Beach when they wouldn't let us put a rescue mission there. And 
in uh, but here in Holly Hill uh, a place of worship is is allowed on a on our uh, see well of course this church been here for many 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 years it's going to be a hundred years old uh, in a year we're 99 years old right now and and uh, but actually in the CC one worship um, it can it's one of the primary things you can have worship in CC one and and of course, we would think that under that, that we could do anything of worship on our property, which includes a parking lot. Um, so, hi, Donna. I, I loved your scripture. You have such, you have the best scripture you put up uh, on it. God bless you. You're such a sweet, dear Christian. And you read your Bible, and you got your Bible all marked up. Well, God bless you. <laughs> Good morning, brother. <laughs> Good morning, sister. She's a good, she's a real Christian. You know, there are a lot of people, everybody's a Christian, but none of them read their Bible. But uh, Donna not only reads her Bible, she marks it and puts it up on Facebook. God bless you, sister. Keep up the good work. Pray for us uh, that we can do all the work on this corner that God's called us to do. Um, so anyway, I've asked for public records of, of who else they've cited on this particular, it's irrelevant uh, uh, well, you can get the whole record. Uh, uh, you can see their judgment against us. And when they took us to um, uh, the kangaroo court down there in City Hall. Uh, but anyway, uh, we want to get that electricity hooked up. So when we do have it here, we're, we're going out to the campgrounds. We're going to have a wonderful time. Oh, uh, no cigarettes, no alcohol, no phones, no tea, no nothing. Just a Bible and nature and praying together and the people have the most wonderful time with our camper at the campgrounds and so at this time they've uh, they will not allow it to be plugged in even just for keep the heat from wrecking it uh, but we believe we could do other things which we have for a little while here now for the last um, week or two and uh, it's been really nice but um so we're, we're, we'll abide by the law. They have to give us, and they can give us permission um, very easily. They could let us do the things we should do as a church on the parking lot, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. But but in the meantime, pray for us, and I'm going to ask the, the commissioners again that they would override uh, Joe Forte and the code enforcement because uh, Forte and the code enforcement, they've... Uh, They've said that we can't plug it in. And uh, so anyway, that's the way it is. And hopefully we can plug it in to save it from the heating it up. And then maybe if they do what they should do, they'd let us do things on the parking lot with it because it'd be nothing but good for God. And it wouldn't be anything that would be dead or rental, be breaking no laws and it'd enhance our ministry. So, but God loves you. You know, John three sixteen says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The most quoted verse, verse in the Bible, John 3, 16. God sent his Son not into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. You, you know who you're condemned by yourself because you won't repent and turn from your sins. Yeah, that's it. I've got a, a wonderful uh, our altar out here. Can I, I can't get a picture from it right here, but I've got a, a kneeling uh, place out here in front of our church. It says, kneel and pray, repent today. It's got carpet on it. You can come 24 hours a day in front of our church and kneel down and repent. Many times people come. Some have been in the monkey business on Ridgewood Avenue. You know, there's a lot of monkey business that goes up and down Ridgewood Avenue, dope and prostitution, things of that nature. And, and uh, you know, the city might be better going after those kind of things, trying to take care of those and bothering the church. Uh, I would advise that might be better for them. But sometimes God gets hold of their heart and they come to the, come to the altar on our grass up there. So... Um, and that's a good thing, and, uh, and I'd like to pray up there with the city manager and the commissioners and kneel down and pray. Kneel and pray. Repent today. We all need to repent every day. 
the initial repentance needs to be for salvation. I was saved April 4th, 1969. You, you've been saved? You got a date? Has it changed your life? Has old things passed away? Have all things become new? I don't know. Well, pray about, pray about our ongoing ministry here. We have a wonderful facility. People are getting saved regularly. People are being helped regularly. And we're going to do more to help the least, the last, and the lost. That's a great rescue mission station, uh, a statement all over the country. That's what rescue missions do. We care for the least, the last, and the lost. And we're all lost, actually. Many people don't think they are, especially rich folks. God bless you. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I did April 4th, 1969. I believe Donna had a time when she got saved, got born again. She remembers the day. Anybody that's really saved remembers the day, the day of salvation. You must be born again. Old things pass away. Well, praise God. We're going to go on for God here. 501 Ridgewood Avenue, Holly Hill. I hope the city would start honoring God and honoring our church and not be negative against the church and harassing the church. But we'll see if God can change their heart. Maybe we need new elected officials. Maybe that's the answer. We'll see. So uh, pray the sinner's prayer with me if you're not saved. Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit has spoke to my heart. This is your prayer. You need to be saved, and you know it. Just pray it with me. The Holy Ghost spoke to my heart, told me that I'm a sinner. I can't save myself. I believe Jesus shed his precious blood on Calvary's cross. He was buried, and he rose again the third day. I repent of my sins. I turn with an honest heart from my wicked heart. My heart is desperately wicked. I can't even know how wicked it is. I claim the blood of Jesus Christ and the power of his resurrection. I claim the blood of Jesus Christ and the power of the resurrection. I call upon the Lord Jesus Christ for my salvation right now. Amen. Amen.